Good morning, I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here is the rundown. A man was shot and killed by officers in Huntington Beach this morning. He reportedly stole a vehicle and then led police on a pursuit. When it came to an end, two suspects tried to run. The man was shot and a woman was taken, taken into custody. It's unclear what led up to the shooting, but a gun was found at the scene. Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood was shut down for hours as police looked into a deadly stabbing. The LAPD says a man was attacked in an alley near Sierra Bonita Avenue, then stumbled out to the street. They think the victim might have been homeless. 42-year-old Anthony Roda has been arrested in connection to a series of burglaries in Malibu and Calabasas. He was found with a rifle deep in a ravine at Malibu Creek State Park yesterday. And now investigators are looking into whether he could be linked to the shooting death of Tristan Baudet at a campground back in June. This philosophy can be summed up in four sentences. If it's income, tax it. If it's revenue, spend it. If it's a budget, break it. And if it's a promise, make it. Holograms of Ronald Reagan debut today at his namesake library in Simi Valley. The holograms were created using a silicone cast of President Reagan's head that was photographed from various angles with 300 cameras. An actor was used for the rest of his body. And now here's Danielle with a check of your forecast. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. A high surf advisory is going into effect. This will be with us today into tomorrow. And the high surf is from Tropical Storm Sergio spinning to our south. Temperatures below average today, partly cloudy skies, more sunshine, warmer tomorrow. Then cooler again on Saturday. Could even see some showers and drizzle out there from tropical moisture. On Sunday, we're warming things up. We'll continue that warming trend. Could even track some Santa Ana wins into the start of next week. Sharon. We are always on at CBSLA.com and remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great morning, everyone.